Okay, this camera is so precariously balanced right now. I have you on an upside down bowl with like a fruit bowl on top and then a tripod. It's really, it takes talent to do something like this. <laughs> I figured I would do a what I eat in a day video. I also asked you guys last week, or maybe it was the week before, if you were interested in seeing this and you said yes, so here we are. I wanna share this with you because it is something I'm very passionate about and something I love very much is feeding myself healthy, but I also do love treating and that's why when I'm having a good time and I'm vlogging and I'm just like, I don't know, celebrating, I always wanna have just pizza and wine with you guys <laughs> when I'm filming, so. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to make today's video. I feel like it's very, very long overdue and I don't want to have any like misconceptions that I'm one of these people who can just like eat pizza all day long and I just, I can't. If I eat pizza all day long, my body does not feel very freaking good. Between the time when I uh, sliced up my apple and put some peanut butter in a little cup, I finished my coffee, so here's to a refill. Yeah, okay, so that is breakfast. I, ooh, is that gonna fall? No, it's not. So I decided to add uh, some blackberries because the apple I had today was actually kind of small and I feel like I'm still gonna be hungry if that's all I had. So I added some blackberries. I do two heaping tablespoons of natural peanut butter with only peanuts and salt. When I woke up today, I was like, okay, hey, I gotta make something different for breakfast so I don't have the same damn thing as my last what I eat in a day video, but I just don't want to. This is what I want, so here we are. Mm -hmm. oh, what's up? I think that's the coffee machine. <laughs> Time for lunch, and we are gonna be making some, I don't know, I guess you would call it like tuna salad. Yeah, that's kind of it. So what we have for our tuna salad, I don't even know if I would call this a salad, but whatever, obviously. Tuna, I do it tuna in water. We have mayonnaise. I normally use vegan mayo because regular mayo just grosses me out, to be honest, but this is all we got for today, so it's what we're gonna use. I will link the other brand that I normally use when we're back home in LA below, so you can find it if you so desire. And um, pickles. <laughs> yeah, I also like to add celery into this because it just adds a really nice crunch, but the celery was like gross and like soft at the grocery store yesterday, so. lunch is done and normally I would actually add a bunch of pepper to that as well but again we're in a new Airbnb and I don't know where everything is yet slash I looked and I couldn't find pepper so whatever but if you add lots of pepper to this it's really good mm. and now we're gonna make our salad so I'm gonna keep my salad super simple I washed our spinach and our tomatoes just cuz you never know um, and I'm like OCD afraid of getting food poisoning all the time. So yeah, washed our spinach. We're gonna throw that in the bowl. This is literally gonna be the easiest damn salad of your life. So for dressing, we're gonna keep it really, really easy too. Just olive oil and balsamic and salt and pepper. Again, don't know where the pepper is, so it's just gonna be salt today, but you get the point. And if you wanna be fancy and make this like in a bowl before with a whisk, it's a lot better, but I honestly just sort of like eyeball it, pour a little olive oil in, a little balsamic. I like to do pretty heavy on the balsamic. It just tastes better to me. And then, salt. Ha! Salad's done. So that's what we're working with, and then I kinda of just take a bunch of crackers put in there and that's it that's lunch um it's not even really cooking in my opinion to be honest it's just so freaking easy you're just putting a few ingredients together i am going to eat this and i will see you at dinner snack time It is officially dinner 
time best time of the day and tonight we are making some spaghetti squash one of my favorites and with this recipe we'll be making a fresh pasta sauce as well as vegan meat in the pasta sauce so it's going to be like a bolognese i really need to learn how to say this word bolognese bolognese whatever we're making spaghetti squash with pasta <laughs> Ah, clearly I'm losing my mind. We are making spaghetti squash with sauce. I don't wanna say this because I'm gonna curse myself, but when you're in an Airbnb, they always give you really shitty, like quality knives, which when you're cooking, makes things really scary. Okay, this should not be this hard, my goodness. <sighs> this is what we're working with, people. It's literally like I've taken like a nail file and I'm trying to cut this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay, pray for me. <laughs> it won't even break through. That's so weird. Okay. <gasps> I think I need to wear like a little mitt. I'm at like high risk right now of injury. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the oven is warm. Oh my God. Is open. Once you have your little spaghetti squash cut in half, just take a spoon and scoop out all of the nasty stringy stuff in the middle. It's gross. You don't want to eat that. Hi. Hi. Run. I'm just filming the preparations of our dinner. Just put a tiny bit of olive oil around the outside so they won't stick to the pan you're going to put them on in the oven. A little bit of salt. I always put it in my hand first and then sprinkle it so it doesn't go like crazy by accident. But let's pop these bad boys in the oven. Go, safe journey my friends. See you in a minute. Where's the timer thing? Timer. 35 minutes on the clock. Whoop, <laughs> I thought you could see my face. Time to make our sauce. Basically all you need is crushed tomatoes and always check the ingredients that they haven't added Anything other than tomatoes and salt, you'll need an onion, either white or whatever color this is, yellow, <laughs> some garlic, and of course, fresh basil. Oh my god, my eyes. Can you see that shit? Oh, they're burning. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Okay, I'm gonna get through these onions because. I am crying hard, man. Whew. 12 seconds later. Ah. Oh my god. Did you see that shit? I almost just cut my hand open. This is like time number four in this video. <laughs> almost cut myself. Do we need to have a safety yeah. intervention? Yeah. We need a safety meeting. <laughs> I get trapped. I have thankfully not cut off a finger, but I have cried. So that makes two videos in a row. <laughs> so now we're going to prep our garlic. There she goes. Time to add our onions into our preheated oiled pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Oh, this smells so good already. De Paris n'importe quoi. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I added in some water alongside the basil to our pasta sauce because I find as it cooks, it boils down and it gets really, really thick and I like mine to not be super thick. So I add water as I go and you can do that just like based on your preferences. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, they look so good. Okay, there we go. Wow. So to test if they're really done, I'll take my fork and like put it in the side and kind of pull the squash out like that. But this spaghetti squash, it's actually really not the best. It's not pulling like, like when you pull, it should come out like pasta strands. This one is just really old. I could tell by the inside. So just pull this out like I'm doing here. So when you put the pasta sauce in the little boat, it's gonna fill all the nooks and crannies. And the final step in this recipe is to add some vegan beef or I don't know, what is this called? Italian veggie ground round. It looks like this, not super cute, but like does ground beef look cute? No. De Paris n'importe moi, moi sûr, en j'entends des chansons. So if you can see what I was doing, I was just breaking up with a spoon the soy flavored, soy flavored meat, 
the meat flavored soy. <laughs> It's really easy. You just take your sauce and fill it up in the bowl. My mouth is legit watering right now. I like cannot wait to eat this. I feel like this is collapsing and not looking very pretty. Whatever. That is my vegan bolognese, bolognese pasta, spaghetti squash recipe. I need to come up with better names for this stuff, but this is just what I eat in a day. I already know it's awesome, but I want to prove to you it's awesome. So try. Can you come do an off-camera taste test for me? You have to be honest. You want me to be really nice about this? No, I want you to be honest. <laughs> okay. Delicious, baby. You like it? Are you just okay. saying that because I'm filming? I think it is fantastic. <laughs> really? Yeah, very good. Aw, thanks, baby. Does it have uh, real meat in this or is this uh, vegetarian meat? What do you think? Um, let me see. Vegetarian meat. See, he had to ask though. He didn't know if it was real or vegetarian meat. It's good. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day video. I needed to show you a more realistic view of how I actually eat on a day-to-day -day basis because sometimes in my vlogs, man, I'm just treating hard. So <laughs> yeah, that's what a day-to-day -day looks like for me. All the recipes will be linked below so you can make them at home for yourself. Send me pics if you do, that would be super cool. Yeah, that's it for today. Let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this and I will post it. See you in the next video. I can keep one alive, you know that they don't die.